What's up fam? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. So I just bought my first enclosed trailer and obviously these people give you the shitty ass light right here and it only works when it's plugged to the truck and my truck lights are on or like my, um, like my nighttime sensor is on. That's the only time this works and let me tell you, it is so dim. Right now, it's pretty decent outside. You know, I mean, it's still daylight, but you know, I mean, it's, it gets pretty dark in here pretty fast. And I just wanted to show you guys something. I'll link this in the description. This is the LED interior lights that I bought right here. Um, it comes, I think it's like 35 bucks and you get eight. So I bought two sets, so it's 16 in total. And I just wanted to show you how seamless I did this. Look at this, look how much light. It's freaking fantastic. Look at this. It's freaking beautiful. I spaced them out and it worked out great. You know what I mean? I'm super OCD, so I measured and stuff like that. But what I want to show you is this. What I did was it took uh, about 40 feet of wire, okay? So I started back here, okay? And I heat shrunk the positive and negative to this one right here. Now, it, there is slack, guys, so it's not like super tight or anything. And I ran it to the top up here, all the way down, okay? All the way down, well, to the end here at first before I put on that light. I put on these two middle ones last uh, because I, I needed to know what I was gonna do with them, so. You know, I mean, I put them right in the middle, one over here, and then the one in the middle down where the trailer starts, where that back door is, okay? And what I did was, so now that whole line, all you had to do was, you're gonna need T-taps, wire strippers, uh, pro uh, some pliers, and all I did was tap into the wire here, tap in here, tap in here, and I pretty much did that all the way around. Come around, okay? Pretty much did that all the way around, okay? So it's daisy chained the entire way around. And now this is where it gets pretty good. So what I did was, I'm gonna link everything. I picked up this uh, battery tie down from Amazon. I think it was like $10 or less. Very, very cheap, okay? Ran some uh, wood screws in, it's freaking it's not going anywhere, okay? And what I did was I took my 21 millimeter hole saw, put a hole in right here. Just make sure, look for the beams. Like see, there's a beam here and a beam here. So make your hole somewhere in the middle, you know, coming down here, like, like this one here. Because uh, I had to fish the wire. I had to make this hole. This hole is just sitting here doing nothing because I actually had to make this because my hanger, my coat hanger is only so long and I had to fish wire through. So. I started fishing the wire through, and don't forget, make sure you put, I have a 10 amp fuse on this, just in case something was to happen, okay? You fish the wire through, and obviously don't connect anything yet. Oh, by the way, these terminals too, super nifty. I'll list them in the description. They're cheap, and they're really, really good, and they have multiple terminal ports on top to connect whatever you want, okay? So now, fish the wire up here, then, Put the hanger from up top and fish the wire from here all the way up ran it up there you can't even see it okay and then had to come down to this switch right here let me see if i could pull this out show you there we go yep i can so this is a switch that already has has is a three wire switch i just cut the ground okay just cut the ground and and we're straight and um let me show you. Okay, good. So now, remember, it's the switch that cuts the circuit. Okay, so all I'm doing is, I took this wire right here, this one here is from the battery, from over there, okay? And then, what I did was, this has to get all these lights have to get power somehow. So what I did was, you take a negative, 
Okay. Actually, the negative here is the one from the battery. I brought all the way over. Okay. And then I tapped in a positive wire right here and ran it down. And it's this one here. You get what I'm saying? So if if both of these wires here were, connect, were joined together, this light will be on all the time. You get what I'm saying? So all I'm doing is I put the switch in the middle of it to take its place. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. You know what I mean? And it works, works flawlessly. You know what I mean? And that's really it. So I just wanted to show you guys, everything is gonna be in the description. So pretty much all these lights, everything is daisy chained. Every single thing. Everything is daisy chained and it worked out. It worked out and listen, it's freaking fantastic. Look how much light this is. It's a lot of light, a lot of light. And you need it, you need it for this. You know what I mean? Let's like watch this. Let me shut the door. Watch how fast this shit gets freaking pitch black. By the way, guys, this trailer is super nifty. I have uh, this is uh, I have that emergency exit door real quick. When you jump out of your car, hold on. Okay, close this. Look how dark it is in here. You can't see anything. There's a little bit of light poking through there because I didn't close it all the way. There's an extension cord there. But it's freaking, it's freaking dark, man. So now, boom. It's a lot of light. It's literally like daylight in here. These bulbs, by the way, they're 6,500K. It's a really nice light. It's fantastic. This did take me a long time, though. I started... This since about 9 a.m. this morning, and it is like uh, 7.27 now. I took a break. I had to go get a haircut. I took a break for, I would say, about, let me see, hour and a half, two hours. You know what I mean? So it, it took a minute, man. It's a literal eight-hour job at least. You know what I mean? If you want to be neat. You know what I mean? Or might, like, you know, some of you guys might be like, oh, well, you're using taps, uh, so that's what they're meant to do. And guess what? It has enough slack. I don't have to worry about anything. So anyway, guys, um, I'll talk about E-Track next time. I actually did that this morning as well. So, but anyway, everything is going to be in the description, guys. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take it easy.